Good morning and welcome to Trail Grazers, where we talk about food on the trail for camping, backpacking, trailering, whatever you do away from home. Uh, Jim and I have, I think, recovered from our trip up to the Pacific Northwest. It's been over a week since we have been home, and I'm now thinking about different ways to do food uh, when we are out and about. So today we're going to focus on breakfast, and so I'm going to do a little experiment today using breakfast foods of ham and eggs. And here in this bowl, Jim brought home a lovely picnic ham yesterday. I prefer picnic hams for the taste. The, it, they're a hassle to try to uh, cube like this because you have a lot of fat that you need to cut off, a lot of gristle, a lot of connective tissue. But for me, it is okay because the taste is so much superior in my opinion, from like deli ham or something like that. You could use deli ham if that's what you prefer. So as I did this ham, I realized I'm not going to have enough to fill a full freezer. So why not just do breakfast? And I have 18 eggs here ready for me to blend to show you how I do eggs. We have a complete video on how to freeze dry eggs on this channel. So I will reference that at the end of this one. So we're going to be doing two trays of ham and two trays of eggs. Because eggs are, of course, liquidy, I'm not going to try to pour them in here and then carry them out to the Kelvin lab. Kelvin, you may remember, is the name of our freeze dryer. And uh, we keep Kelvin out in its own um, lab where it is air conditioned. And um, the, so the freeze dryer will work better when, they, when it gets too hot in there. It doesn't do a good job and it will shut down to save the machine. We will take the trays out there empty and then we will pour the egg into them after we get them out there. Here is the remnant of the picnic ham, a really nice bone with some fat and some gristle, some bone marrow and some meat. And I have already started a pot of beans over on the stove. And so we are going to have some wonderful bean soup uh, tonight for some supper. So let's get started on this. I'm going to put about half the ham in this one and I'm thinking it will cover two trays. That's my best guess. So this is just about perfect for two trays. I have not done ham in the freeze dryer before. So this is purely an experiment for me. What I have done here is break 18 eggs into this blender. Now when I prepare eggs for the freeze dryer, I don't blend the smithereens out of them. I just blend them until they're a little bit mixed. So let me show you what I do. When these eggs are freeze dried, they are still raw. And so when I rehydrate the egg powder, I want it to be the consistency and to have the look and the feel of regular eggs. So here's what we will do. I've just turned the freeze dryer on. It takes 15 minutes for it to do a pre-cool. Then we will meet you out there and load these trays and I'll have the two egg trays ready to go out there as well. So we will see you out there in just a moment. It has pre cooled long enough. The screen says load trays into freeze dryer, close drain valve. So that's what we're going to do. This is Kelvin, our freeze dryer, medium size from Harvest Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is load this tray of eggs. Ah! And so I won't have to do that again. I'm going to put this tray in part way, fill it up, which works so much easier. And now for the ham. Everything is set. 
closing and locking the door. Now I have to close the drain valve, which is right here. And we are ready to continue. It is now freezing, and this will take probably a day and a half. So when we come back, we will talk about how we are going to package this in several different ways and even use the ham cubes for something else besides breakfast. So we will see you then. Good morning. It's two days later. It took the freeze dryer 36 hours to freeze this ham and the eggs. Now what we're going to do is put it into the jars. I have pre-labeled these jars so we are ready to get these going. And then I'm, show, I'm going to show you multiple ways how we can use this. One of the things I am going to show is the rehydration of th this uh, meat. So I'm going to put a few of these in here. These turned out fantastic. So I'm going to fix some scrambled eggs in just a few minutes and I want these ready to go. So we will just let these sop up that water. Okay. This ham turned out beautifully. Well, that worked out just about perfect. So we have almost a two quart jar of the ham dices. And for the eggs, I'm trying a little bit of a different strategy today. I used to run these through my blender to powder them, but it really is not necessary. So what I do now, my daughter came over with a whole bunch of eggs. We did a bunch of eggs for her last week and we kind of worked on new strategies. So that was easy. I love how eggs freeze dry. If you have a freeze dryer, you don't need to worry about any other way to preserve eggs. Then what I just do, some of the air out of here, is just crush them with my hands. And it's quick and easy. No need to get the blender all dirty. And it is important to remember that even though these eggs are dry to the touch and all crumbled up, they are still raw. They have not been cooked and we treat them as raw eggs. Then I just rinse out this bag and reuse it. I've, I've talked several times about how much I like to package single ingredients because it gives me so much versatility. And that is exactly what I'm doing right here. I'm putting the eggs in one container and the meat in another container. And that way I have so much versatility. If I want to pull out some of this ham to use in some ham fried rice or ham and potato soup or whatever, I can just open this. If I combine ingredients, together first, I don't have that latitude. Now there are some times when I very much want to have the convenience of having everything um, together, 
but given that these are raw and that these are already cooked, I would not combine these two ingredients. I have yet to do some experimenting, but I'm going to do it with uh, scrambling some eggs and then freeze drying them. And then I can add those scrambled eggs with the ham because both are cooked and put in an MRE. We are going to start doing a few videos in the very near future on MREs. Jim and I are looking for alternative plans for food when we go on car trips or whatever it is that we're going to do, camping, um, it, because it's very convenient to have those ready to go. And I'm buying some supplies for MREs that I'm going to share with you in an upcoming video. For today, what we are going to do is make some scrambled eggs. So I'm going to clear the deck here, bring you back when I have everything set up, and we'll go forward with that. As you can see, I have our little butane stove set up. This is an off-grid cooking method that I use quite often in videos. I have my 10-inch cast iron skillet. Our ham reconstituted now with meat, you um, don't need to add a specific amount of water. You can put a bunch of water in. It's only going to take in as much as it needs and not any more. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the ham and keep that ready here for just a moment. I'm going to add some more water here because I now I'm going to rehydrate this, some um, mixed peppers. These are sweet bell peppers that have been freeze dried. And for those of you that are not over also on um, Rose Red, I demonstrated a couple of brand new gadgets that one of our viewers sent to us that I'm absolutely loving. Here's a little, and I will put the link to that video at the end of this video so you can take a quick look at it if you want. This is a jar opener and it just does a phenomenal job of opening jars. So I'm going to put a few peppers because we're gonna add those to our scrambled eggs and these rehydrate almost instantly. The same with onions. They rehydrate very quickly as well. Oh, these were in my cabinet. They weren't vacuum sealed. So I'm just going to dampen those and let those rehydrate. However, when we use eggs, it's not the same. We don't just put as much water as we want to and then try to strain out the eggs because it doesn't work that way. With some foods, rather than rehydrate, we are going to reconstitute, make it the way that it was at the beginning. With eggs, I use a one-to-one, -one, one, one measure of eggs to one measure of water, and it works very well for me. There's some discussion, people do it different ways, but I used the um, amounts on the back of a, a can, a number 10 can of powdered eggs that, um, we had on hand and I looked to see what their ratios were and it's one to one. This is a half a cup, which is the same as, um, so this is two eggs. I'm gonna do four eggs. And I'm going to add the same amount of water. How I package eggs or any of our food for a trip depends on a lot of things. The main thing that it depends on is how am I going to prepare it? If it's an MRE, I want to put it in a little MRE heater and not even take any pots and pans and I'll demonstrate that in another video. But most of the time I'm going to be cooking because these eggs are raw, I can't just um, reconstitute them and then eat them the way they are. They have to be um, cooked. And so I will have some cooking utensils along with me if we are at camp. And so I would package eggs separately from uh, the other things that I might want to add into the eggs. So there are lots of ways to do it. And I could just put it in a plastic bag, or if I want to, I can um, put these in vacuum sealed bags inside a mylar so that I have a little breakfast pack with the ingredients inside and then I would know to 
to reconstitute some things and rehydrate other things. I have a little bit of bacon grease right here in my skillet, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Uh, because this is butane in the house and it is okay to use butane in the house, never propane. We do have our um, carbon monoxide alarm in place and the house is wide open today. We have every door in the place open to let that morning air in while it's still cool. All right, these are ready. So I'm going to add in the ham and I'm going to add in the veggies. Ooh, yummy breakfast. As soon as this gets nice and hot, we will add everything in. I've written a whole list of, of programming that I'm pretty excited about coming up. We're going to be doing some actual MREs, and uh, there are lots of ways that you can do those too, and I'm going to demonstrate that. All right, here it goes. These eggs cook up just like raw eggs do. And the taste, you cannot even tell that they were ever freeze dried. I use powdered eggs a lot, my own freeze dried and powdered eggs a lot in baking as well. Two tablespoons is the equivalent of one egg. So two tablespoons powder, two tablespoons water. Turning this off. And I'm just going to leave those in the pan for a moment to keep warm. So I am going to now get these jars back. This goes in my pantry so I don't re-vacuum it. This is going out to our food bank and I have pre-labeled the lids. This was the other gadget that our viewer Rebecca from Idaho sent to us. It was just a surprise. It was just so exciting. And it is the handiest, handiest thing. So I just turn it on and leave it for about 25 minutes. No, 25 seconds. It's a long time if it's 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that would be a long time. <laughs> All done. Is that just the handiest thing? And now the same with the eggs. And notice on this lid, I have put whole eggs raw. I know that they're raw. All the eggs that we do are raw. But just in case somebody else might be using our eggs at some point, I want them to know that those are raw eggs. All right, those are ready to go. This is so much easier than bringing out my big vacuum sealer. When I have to seal things, then I use the other one. Now these are, these peppers are going back out on the shelf as well. We call it our food bank out there. Now I'm going to dish up these eggs for our breakfast. There we go. So these will go back out to the food bank. This goes in my pantry and we are now ready to eat. I'm going to taste test a bite of ham. It's just delicious. I never would have known that that had ever been freeze dried. I love the taste of that ham. And now for a little bite of egg with the peppers and onions. It would be a great, great camp breakfast. The veggies are all soft and cooked, warmed through. This is a fantastic breakfast and is so easy to fix <clears throat> when we are camping. So look for more videos coming up very soon where we're going to be doing some MREs. Meanwhile, Jim and I are going to enjoy our breakfast from our just newly freeze-dried ham and eggs. Thanks for joining us and we will see you out there on the trail.